morning. Welcome to what is going to be a work week vlog. By the time you are watching this, you know, you know what's happening. <laughs> Big news. But at the time of me recording this today, it is Monday the 20th of November. And today is the day, this week is the week where I film my announcement video about my big career change. Tomorrow is the day where I tell patrons the news. And yeah, it is the week where we start filming all of these Vlognica videos as well. So it's busy. I'm gonna take you along for the ride. It feels strange <laughs> that this is happening. It has been like months of preparation and kind of like sitting with it internally, privately, just me, then me and my team. And now this is the week where you start putting it out there, start telling people. Last week and May, maybe a little bit this week feels like the calm before the storm just because of the amount of videos that we've got going out between now and the end of the year. It's felt calm because the workload for the podcast has massively decreased as we've been like putting out episodes. At the time of recording this, the horn episode is going out this week and we literally have one more episode that we are currently working on, but the bulk of the work of that is done. Like today, one of my jobs is to listen to to the mix that our editor has sent for that parenting episode and give any feedback and notes. So that is just like, oh my God, we, we did it. We did the podcast. So things have been way less hectic than when we were like knee deep in the podcast stuff. And I wanted to enjoy that moment of calm because as soon as we start filming these Vlognica videos, that means like my editor's gonna be on it. We need to be like on it with like feedback and notes and like getting everything sorted and ready and done. And then of course, all of these announcements and just like being emotionally and physically there to like respond. And so today I'm at the studio because filming, but before I film, I've got my usual Monday morning bits. I need to schedule all of the Patreon content that's going out this week. I've got a second version of the Big Sister Swap video that I need to check over, see if there's anything else that needs editing in it. I'm gonna do that. And then I also sent my like outline rough notes script for my announcement video to a friend who has kindly shared some suggestions. So I'm just gonna look through that really quickly to see if there's anything that she says that means that I want to change anything, then time to film. So, bit of desk work. I feel like standing up at my desk today. I find myself like sitting down way too much and like just spending six hours just sat at a desk solidly. <laughs> Not good, so we're standing today. Let's crack on. All of my morning bits are done. That all took a lot longer than I expected. It's just gone 11 now, so I may only have time to film one of these videos before lunch, or I'll power through and get them both done. But I think I'm gonna eat like half of my sandwich now, because I'm hungry now. Filming time. Let's do this. Normally, Mia is in the studio with me for filming, but these videos just feel so personal. And I was like, I need to be alone. I need to be alone to film these. So <laughs> that means I need to triple check that my microphone and everything is working. Because there have been some instances in the past where I've needed to film alone, and that audio, <laughs> and I had to refilm everything. So let's try and make that not happen. Boobin. How much food do I have on my face? <laughs> Hopefully not too shiny. Testing, testing, testing. The microphone is working. Sounds good to me. Right. Ah. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it, we're doing this. We are doing this. So I have some news. At the end of this year, I'm taking an indefinite sabbatical from my online sex ed work. Okay, video one is filmed. Mm. I made brownies yesterday. So that footage is now just sinking and I'm gonna take a minute. I'm just gonna relax whilst that's 
doing it soon. And then one more video to film and then see how much time I have, if I have time to do the review of the parenting episode of the podcast. But main priority today is get that other video filmed. Can you tell I'm tired? That was like a workout getting through that video. Woo! My days. The footage has been uploaded. Carrots and hummus have been eaten. YouTube videos watched. Jumper back on. Time for video two. Testing, testing. Okay, right. Yes, it's pointing at my face. That's better. Da, 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 da. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlognica 2023. I did it, I did it, I finished filming and I'm very warm now. What time is it? Oh, sick. It is only 20 past two, which means I should have time to do podcast feedback before I'm done for the day. But let's put all of these bits back on charge and upload that footage. Do you like my tights? <laughs> finished podcast feedback that's it that's the last episode except for the q a that we're doing as well but that's like the last one of this themed bunch and i only had one note one note as we've been going through this process obviously like our working process has like smoothed out and we're better at like knowing what it is that we want and and all of that kind of stuff and so like the feedbacks have gotten easier and easier and for this one one note one note i've got a bit of time before i need to head to pick up rowan and there is a video that has come in that requires some feedback the one about feminists and sex work which you may or may not have watched by now so yeah i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna head home the cleavage is real <laughs> All right, I'm all done for the day, just wrapping things up before I go get Rowan. But I wanted to show you my new favorite work toy. I just got this because I felt like I'm gonna need this for Vlognica. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of videos. So I made these little stickers. It's an SD card. <laughs> holder in case that wasn't clear but these ones are for the vlog camera that's what you're on these ones are for the main camera what i film here and then we've got empty sd cards and then in use i've not put full it just means that there's something on it that can't be deleted yet but there is still some room on these for other things but it's just so we know and then like once the stuff that's on these cards has been edited then we can delete it or format it and stick it up here i only have five sd cards total these three the one in you and the one in that one but i just figured this would be very useful slash just satisfying for my brain and i'm just gonna have this with me at all times i'm just gonna make sure that this is always coming with me <laughs> wherever i go wherever i'm going to be I'm gonna wrap up i actually have a patreon live stream this evening after rowan goes to sleep so that'll be fun so maybe see you tonight but if not see you tomorrow when i'm actually announcing this big career change to my patrons i'm not telling them tonight because there's going to be a whole other patreon live stream so i wanted to save it for that so <gasps> Let's do it. Been loving the podcast, they've not cut up yet. That's all good. It's gonna be there, so there's time. There's time. Good morning. So I work from home a lot of the time because home is closer to Rowan's childminders than my studio. So if I'm not filming or recording, then I have my setup here with my laptop stand and Dan's old keyboard and mouse. And that suits me fine. Today on the agenda, the main thing is I'm telling patrons the news and I just need to create a couple of things like the live stream and the Google form so that I can add those links into the post. We're gonna publish it all at midday, I think, because this morning, patrons are getting the early access to porn episodes, so I don't want to, like, bombard them with 
with things. And then also 12 p.m. Like it's a long post. So hopefully that means that some people could read it on their lunch breaks. But yeah, so whilst we wait for that, I've got some video feedback to do for, you won't have seen this one yet. Oh, this is one of the Vlognooker videos that we filmed actually months ago. Oh, you will know, because I vlogged the experience of kind of filming it, which is the collab with Cinema Therapy. So that was filmed obviously a long time ago, but the upload collab date with them coincided with Vlognooker, so I was like, perfect. And I told Beth and my editor, I was like, just so you know, that is going to be like a bitch of an edit. It's gonna be a hefty one. And so you might want to get it in ahead of time before we're in the like constant, constant, like edit deadline every day of Vlognooker. And she did. Well done, Bethan. I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to watch it. It was so long ago. So yeah, today is a video feedback day and then also prepping for filming tomorrow. So I need to like prep those videos, gather up some clothes. Then I've got a call in the afternoon and then we're uploading the video. <sighs> but I need some empty time today because I want to kind of be present when the announcement goes out to patrons so I can kind of like be there reading responses and replying and things like that. <laughs> Cinema therapy video feedback done. And the Notion spreadsheet thing of our videos is looking very satisfying. Let me show you. This is the situation ready to publish. I'm gonna do this feedback now. Need to upload this one. More feedback needed. And then these are like almost ready to go. There's our cinema therapy one. Da 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 da. Looking good. It's an hour before I tell patrons and I'm eating nervous brownies and <laughs> crisps <laughs> and I need to start prepping some other videos but I'm like my brain is in procrastination mode just like waiting and watching the clock I could post it now but no midday I said to myself midday I'm gonna do midday I'm gonna sit here and eat a brownie it's happening it's 11 59 okay <laughs> publish now right okay okay <sighs> The news is somewhat out there. Right, I feel like it's gonna take people a while to like read the post, <laughs> so. <laughs> Not expecting like an immediate response. I should probably also share the link in the Discord server. I think actually what I need to do right now is go distract myself. I think I'm gonna take a walk and buy some lunch and then I can come back and sit and see. <laughs> and see and read. It's real, it's real. This is the first time telling people who aren't my friends and my family and my like core work team. Here we go. Right, let's get some lunch. Okay, someone's a fast reader. <laughs> One of my mods in the Discord server actually has just said, thanks for the honesty, Hannah. Important to take care of yourself, your family and make sustainable business decisions. Been a patron for years purely for and exactly the content you plan to continue. So looking forward to seeing what's to come. Thank you. Okay, let's go for a walk. home now, had myself some fast food. <laughs> I've also got like an hour and a half left of my book and I'm filming the books I read slash listened to because audiobooks all the way for me this year tomorrow morning so maybe I'll finish it before tomorrow morning especially you know I've got a walk and get Rowan and then like the walk and the drop off and everything tomorrow morning so maybe maybe I'll finish it also the French plat is <laughs> coming loose but actually what's happened is it's kind of gone back to like my bob look when I had short hair. Anyway, I needed that. I needed that fresh air even though it was pretty miserable and I got rained on, it's fine. But I've also been reading some of my patrons comments, kind of like skimming and like seeing what they've been saying in Discord as well. But now I just wanna spend like half an hour or whatever, however much time I've got just to sit down and like properly read these, respond to some and 
yeah, just kind of like take it all in. But so far the response has been amazing and thank you. Thank you, thank you. The Patreon community, honestly, so amazing. That Discord is just so lovely and so fun and my favorite place to hang out on the internet. And yeah, fucking ace, cheers. Oh, and that noise is the dishwasher. videos that we're filming tomorrow. One is about all of the books that I read. I need to gather the physical books that I read, which I believe this year was just two of them. I made notes. These are the two physical books that I read this year. So I need to remember to take these with me to the studio tomorrow. There's one more, where are you? Bam, little book. And then the other video that we're gonna be filming is about clothes. Because I had my color analysis at the beginning of the year. And so I wanted to do a bit of a reflection and looking at some of the clothes that I have bought and acquired over the year and faves and regrets. And did I stick to my color analysis? So I'm gonna pick a few different pieces to talk about. Not all of the clothes that I got this year because this year was a, a big clothes year for me. Let's do this. I don't know what exactly to focus on. Do I just like gather all of the new things that I got and then pick them from there? How do we do it? How do we do it? I have a huge pile of clothes down here that is clothes that I'm clearing out because I ran out of space. But there are definitely some clothes in this pile that fall into the regrets category and impulse purchases. So we need to dig them out just so I can show them in this video. Where are you? Oh God. my spring color palette fan that Sean gave me. So I think it will be fun to see how the clothes that I got and that I picked out this year match up with my spring color palette. So I need to bag these clothes somehow in a way that is going to be easy for me to transport, especially considering I'll need to like take Rowan to his childminders first. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that's gonna be just really difficult. So I'll drop him off, come home, pick up the bags and then go to the studio because otherwise that's just gonna be really annoying. <laughs> I mean, even just looking at these piles, like look at all of the amazing color in my clothes. I love my clothes. There is no way I'm gonna be able to carry this and push a buggy tomorrow morning. So I think I might even have to get a taxi to the studio. <laughs> ah, fun times, fun times. Right, videos prepped, ready to film. got back from dropping off Rowan and I realized I forgot his shoes because he has his feet in there. I don't put his shoes on in the buggy. So I'm calling a taxi. I'm gonna go via his childminders to hand the shoes over and then to the studio. So let's do that. Also, last night I finished the Bands of Morning. Turns out I didn't have as long as I thought I did left in it because of all of the like appendages and credits that are on those books. <laughs> We are here, ready for filming. Oh, we're both in purple. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Two spring queens. Two spring queens. Uh, although you're having a bit of an identity crisis, though. Your color. No, I now. think I'm just a mixture of autumn and spring. Actually, I just <laughs> I think I'm. I'm not on the binary end of anything. <laughs> We've got two videos to film this morning. One about books, one about clothes. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to chat about all of the books that I read in 2023.
Right, one video down, top change, one to go, and look at all these clothes on the floor. They're sort of organized into piles, but yeah, here we go. Okay, I know I said that trousers aren't important because they're not like reflecting up on your face, but it helps to have trousers in the same color palette. Okay, that video is all filmed, but now we need to do B-roll, which is like fashion show time. We've got this whole pile, like, can you see it? This whole pile of clothes that we need to try on, but we can play some music and do some dancing. Mia's headed home, we finished filming, and footage is just uploading, so I need to stay here whilst that happens. We do 4K footage now, and it's nice and all, but everything takes so much longer <laughs> to upload and transfer, it's a nightmare. It's fine. Well, it's not fine, actually, because here, my internet is insane, because I'm like plugged right into the ethernet and all of that, but as soon as I start having to upload 4K footage from my internet at home next year, once I move out of the studio, so we might not use 4K footage then. We'll see. Anyway, so I did have scheduled another post to go out to patrons about the whole change at midday today, but it is currently 10 to one. But luckily yesterday I unscheduled it and just saved it as a draft so I could manually post it when I was free. So good job past Hannah for doing that. So that means that I can do that now whilst this footage is uploading, which is really handy. And whilst I eat some carrots and hummus. Mm, 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 delicious. So this post is all about my plans for my Patreon in 2024 and I'm kind of just sharing it with them to get their thoughts and feedback and just to give everyone a heads up about what to expect and I believe that post is also currently public so all of the stuff that I posted on Patreon everyone can see now not all of the stuff these things this will be fun I enjoy planning I enjoy telling people about plans and making plans and all of that fun stuff the new Patreon interface where you go to find your posts has disappeared it's disappeared it used to be what where have you gone like I I can't find all of my like scheduled posts and drafts and things. Oh, Patreon have made some massive technical changes recently, <laughs> but then things like this happen. And I'm like, there is no easy way to get to my drafts and my scheduled bits. There's normally a thing to click and it's disappeared. <sighs> right, I need to figure this out. Okay, I've emailed Patreon support. Hopefully they can help me, but I found a workaround to get to it, which is basically creating a test post, scheduling it, and then once you've scheduled a post, it's just like, okay, done. And then it like takes you to the page where you can see all of your posts. Honestly, the back end of Patreon, <laughs> they've made loads of changes, but it's still a hot mess. The way the posts are organized on the back end is not helpful. But this has taken me to where I wanted to go. So let me see. Where is, yeah, drafts. Drafts, I found you. I just need to make sure to delete that test thing that I scheduled. Or on the 6th of December, some patrons, you'd have just got a random post being like, test, test. <laughs> We're gonna make this live, publish. Oh, the Patreon team are currently away for Thanksgiving, so I am not gonna be getting any help on that anytime soon. But at least we have our workaround, otherwise this could have been this could have been bad. I just need to remember a quick way patreon.com forward slash posts forward slash published, and then I'll be able to get to everything from there. Anyway, right, that's out now, so let's see what patrons have to say. <coughs> lunch but I'm still hungry. I seem to be hungry all the time at the moment so I need some watsits and I've got some video feedback to do. 
from the videos that I filmed on Monday. What fun! I've not got my whole setup here at the kitchen table like I did the other day because I've only got like two more hours of work and I can't. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that video feedback took so long because I was also like collecting photos and video links and timestamps of all the different like stuff and people that I talk about in the video where I like announce this whole career change. But I think it's gonna be a really lovely video. And it's nice to have all of these different like visual elements to kind of show like what has happened over the last 12 years. But it is now like getting dark in here. I've got an hour before I have to get Rowan. I've got the other video that I filmed on Monday to do video feedback for, and I need a wee. <laughs> Good morning. It's the final day of this vlog and it's gonna be a sleepy day because last night was really rough with Rowan but Dan did take the brunt of it but then Rowan was like up from six which is <laughs> early for us but he was like on the boob from five so I've been awake since five and then like up since six and <laughs> I'm feeling it. But before I start work today I just wanted to show you like what I saw upon re-entering the home. So first up we've got a abandoned truck then if we come through here, oh, what's that? A potato, a bag of potatoes. Oh, a whole bunch of potatoes in a saucepan. Lovely. Some more leftover potatoes. And then we come over here, we've got breakfast and we've got this mess and a snotty tissue. So I could just leave it all here, but that's not how my brain works. So I'm currently listening to an episode of the Financial Confessions podcast and I'm gonna keep listening to that, tidy up, and get myself set up to try and do some work. <laughs> but I feel horrendous. <gasps> uh, also, <laughs> that <laughs> is last year's Christmas tree. <laughs> Talk about procrastination. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> how much I can do. I've got videos that we're filming on Monday next week to prep and then just kind of like lots of other bitty tasks. Some email stuff, some social media stuff and yeah. I'm hopefully just gonna like knuckle down this morning and take it easy this afternoon. <gasps> oh, I'm so tired! <laughs> Everything took me like twice as long because <laughs> I'm just in such a like tired and like procrastinating mood. But videos are prepped. Everything is ready for next week and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch, which is basically gonna be leftover Chinese takeaway from last night. This might help too. Mm, so beige. This week we're gonna be having food in me and I've been smashing through some more of these bitty tasks and right now I'm posting some sponsored Instagram content which is always a bit of a faff because it's like okay is that thing been tagged properly okay do we press go now right so let's do that It's really sunning through our windows at the moment. I'm actually finishing up work early today. I'm gonna go pick up Rowan early because we're gonna head to Charity Supermarket. If you remember from the video that I did, like going to Charity Supermarket when they were in Brent Cross, they've been doing pop-ups like all over the country since then. And I got invited to the launch party of the next one, but it's all the way in Westfield, which is quite far for us. And the timings of it are like, 
like right over when I would normally pick Rowan up and Dan can't do pick up today. So I thought, fuck it. I'm just gonna pick Rowan up, take him with me. And then I've got a friend who actually lives near there and I haven't seen her in ages and I've never visited her flat because it's far and I have a child. So this is really nice. I need to not buy anything. Why are you going then, Hannah? Because I want them to like me and I want to go to more of them when I need more clothes at some point in the future. No, I think it'll be really fun. It's nice to take Rowan out to things like this and then I get to see my friend and her place. So that's what I'm gonna do. It does mean though that today's video, the time that it is going live is when I'll be like with Rowan, maybe on the tube, maybe at the shop, I don't know. And it's gonna be a bit chaotic. So I'm gonna set it to schedule. So just in case I'm like not fully with it. <laughs> The video is gonna go out without me needing to do anything. Oh, the sun, the sun. But I finished up all of my work, even including all of the bitty tasks and I still have like half an hour before I need to go get Rowan. So I'm just gonna chill out and watch some YouTube. Then we're gonna go get on the tube. We're on the train. Yeah. There's another train there, yeah. <laughs> We left early just because the music in there was a bit loud for Rowan, but it was a successful trip, even though, you know, I'm not supposed to be buying anything because I've got too much stuff and I've had to do a big clear out recently. But I found these boots and they were in a size four and they fit really nicely and they were just gorgeous. And do you know what? A while ago, my old pair of black heeled boots that were my go-to pair for wearing to gigs and stuff because I need a little extra inches on me because I'm only five foot and you know, I'd be told people at gigs. Not that I'm really going to many gigs, but it's still useful to have. But yeah, they fit perfectly and I was like, oh my God, these are gorgeous, have to have them. And then I also bought a chocolate Christmas tree because delicious. If you are West London way, then definitely check out Charity Supermarket. It's in the Westfield, which is horrible. If you can bear going into a Westfield at Christmas time. I used to know the Westfield quite well, but I was getting lost in there and I needed to find my way out. And it was just a case of like following my nose, being like, I'm pretty sure it's this way. But my friend doesn't get back from work for a while yet. And so I think Rowan and I are gonna go to our old local pub. because I've not been there in like five, six years. And Rowan needs to stretch his legs, need to give this kid a run around. So I'm gonna go to the pub, have a drink, let him run around and then go meet up with my friend. <laughs> Never fear, there are more pubs. Made it home and Dan is trying to get Rowan down to sleep. He's got a little bit of a cold, so can't breathe when he's breastfeeding, which is always a nightmare. Hence why last night was rubbish. Kind of like gearing up for another night, so we'll see. But I feel like it's been a very successful work week. Out of the eight Vlognooker videos that we're going to be putting out, five are filmed, including this one, and the other three will all be filmed by the end of next week. Three of them have already had their first edit, so we are smashing it. Thank Thank you for following me on this work week. A very exciting work week for me when the first people, my patrons, know about this career change. It's felt good. The response has been amazing, so thank you so much. It's continuing to feel right. Like it makes sense to me and I'm just really excited about what's gonna happen next. And I'm really excited about telling the rest of you and what that's gonna be like. Can you hear Dan singing on the monitor? I'm gonna go and enjoy like five minutes to myself before I get called in for some more boob. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!